and welcome back to Food It's Blitz and today we're gonna look at the T ninety two E one, the brand new tier nine American light tank, and it's a missile launching tank. This isn't the first time that we've had missile tanks in Blitz, but gone are the days of the T forty nine A, the disastrous missile launching tank that they first introduced. And this is the first one that you get of the two new lines leading to the tier ten Sheridan. And as you can see, I mean it's a funky looking tank. I mean it does bear the characteristics of a T forty nine. But unlike that tank, the missile characteristics of this tank have, in fairness, been greatly improved. However, you can see here, it's got zero armor, realistically. Okay, you can stick it all down, and you can add a push side scrape in it. But for all intents and purposes, it's a light tank, it's not meant to have a lot of armor, and it's pretty pedable. This is it facing off against an IS-8, and as you can see, the IS-8 is going to pen it almost everywhere, but that's not the point of this tank. This point of this tank is a light tank with a big gun. And just to put you in the picture, that's it facing against an IS-8 with its heat missile. As you can see, it's pretty penable. So what is it about this tank? Well, it's things like this. Hello, Waffle Tractor. You can just fire this missile and you don't have to, like in the T-49A, use your finger to trace the missile to its end path in fact watch this i'm, I'm pointing the opposite direction and boom <laughs> i can still shoot him now this one i particularly like the grill is falling off the map the grill is back on the map and there goes the grilly <laughs> you can even shoot around corners it is fantastic there you go boom so what is it? So this is me in a training room with my friend fizzy he's just going to shoot me i'm just aiming up in the air um, and I'm using the lookout bar to shoot him and that's what you can do I'm not even aiming at the tank I'm aiming nowhere near his tank so let's see that again in super slow-mo as you can see I'm aiming nowhere near Fizz's tank I'm aiming completely the opposite direction but I'm using the lookout bar to put the cursor on his tank and look at the track the missile takes I mean, that's like a Roberto Carlos free kick against France. I mean, bend it like Beckham. I've not used my finger. I've just kept the reticle on the tank and boom. Now, an interesting point that Fizzy came up with is that if you fire your missile and you die, the missile will just take a straight track. And as you can see there, it will finally land on its target. It, if you if you try to bend it, however, it won't. So... What is it about this tank, as I said? A lot of people are going to love it or loathe it. it. It's one of those type of tanks. And already there's been a lot of salt being thrown at players driving this tank. And there are a lot of them in the game at the moment. Why? Well, it's a novelty. It's a new tank. Um, but it's an easy tank to counter. To be perfectly honest and frank with you as i said it's not got the fastest mobility it's pretty nippy but it's not the fastest and it's got no armor to speak of what it does have is a, a, a gun that is just fantastic for shits and giggles i mean i've already done 1300 damage by no means in any of these replays i'm going to show you do i set the world on fire but i've had great fun in this tank and for a tier nine I, I, it's just a barrel of laughs. I don't even care if I win or lose because, to be honest with you, it's like the T-49. It's a giggle stick. You go out and you just have a good old giggle in this thing. And I love it. And I hated the T-49A, I'll be honest with you, because it was overly complex. Trying to use your finger to drag the missile round was a ball's ache at the best of times. This, however, is just hilariously funny. I hit the rock there. <laughs> but this is just an hilariously funny tank. And yes, you get a lot of salt thrown at you because you can do things like we've just seen in the previous clips. You can aim the gun, you know, in the opposite direction, aim it up in the sky, put the cursor on the tank, and you're still going to hit. I mean... People are going to get annoyed with you and get pissed off. But as I say, it's not a, its not like the tank is invincible. It isn't. It's got a fantastic gun. It's got a gun that will 
turn you, you know, just make you cry laughing. And that's about it. Uh, you know, I've, I've not... I've not played many games in this tank. The games I have played, I've just found them absolutely hilarious. And I've loved every minute of it. And that's the thing about the game, guys. I mean, this is a tank to have fun in. And, I mean, look at this. I, I'm such a bad driver. <laughs> I just fall off the thing. But, um, what's the trick about playing this tank? Well, you can't play it like a true light. It's, it is a T-49 with all intensive purposes. And the good thing about this tank, unlike the T-49, you can actually sit at the back and snipe in this thing. Now, the range does vary. Um, we've worked out that you can get effective shots in at about 400 meters, funnily enough. But the thing is, you gotta have the target spotted. Because if it's not, then nothing's going to happen. It's as simple as. Now, over the distance, you're going to lose lots. You're going to lose a bit of penetration, and you're also going to lose a bit of damage. So I found that the further the targets are, the, the, the alpha goes down from the 500s down to the just touching 390 to 420. But that's not to say you can't sit at the back of the map and throw this thing all over the place because don't forget it's got light tank camo which means realistically you know it's the same camo on the move as it is stationary so I mean it's a great little tank in that respect but how do you play it well don't stick it on the front line I mean that's the biggest advice um, and, and don't try to get overly cocky in it in other words, don't sit there doing what I was doing earlier, aiming the gun 45 degrees in the opposite direction to, to, to do fantastic hits, because you'll come unstuck. Play it like you would play, um, to an extent, a mixture between a T-49 and, um, I, I don't know, I, I would say probably a Howcat type affair, or a Jackson. Y you need to play it like... You know, one of one of these lightly armoured American TDs, especially if you've got this missile gun on it. If you haven't got the missile gun on it, and you've got the stock gun, then it is really a T-49. I mean, look at that. I bounced the ST there. I mean, that, that's, that's rare, to say the least. And if you've got the stock gun, as I said, you can play it realistically like a T-49, and you'll get away with it. But... Don't think that every single missile is going to pen, even though your penetration values are off the charts with the with the heat. You know, you're looking at 300 plus pen. Um, but don't think it's 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 going to pen everything. You've got a lengthy reload. To be fair, your APCR, which is your standard ammo with this gun, is pretty good as well. It will dish out a lot of damage, and it's got pretty good pen values also. So don't sit there thinking just because you've got the missile gun in, you're going to have to fire missiles all the time. You don't need to. And, you know, sometimes the missiles are hit and miss, as you will see here. I mean, I, I hit the rock because I, I got a bit cocky with that shot. So you've got to be gentle with it. But the most important thing, as I said, is just roll out and have a, like a barrel of fun because this tank is a barrel of laughs. In a minute, I, 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 sh I, I, I get a, a shot in that I thought was never going to get in. I mean, it, I, I was just rolling in my seat in fits of laughter through the tracks. Look at this missile round the tracks. <laughs> it, it, I mean, I just love that. Um, so you can do almost impossible shots in this thing, which is fantastic. And it's a good laugh. But when it goes wrong, guys, trust me, it goes wrong. You can get wasted pretty quickly. Okay, in this tank, you've got 1,600 HP. But that doesn't last long, to be honest with you. I mean, waffle, as you saw earlier, I went around the corner. A waffle tractor smacked me for 800. So you've got to be careful in it. A good HE round from a waffle tractor, an ISU, etc., etc., will, you know turn your smile into a frown I'm afraid it'd be a bad day in Bosnia but aside from that I take it at face value guys it's a bit of fun you may hate the tank you may hate the missiles 
but it's great fun it really is anyway that has been the t92e1 a fantastic little tier 9 tank with this missile capability which i think is truly truly a vast improvement on what they initially brought out with the t49a it's good fun go out there enjoy it for what it is don't get too cocky just have fun anyway i've been fujit that's been the t92e1 um, by all means comment like and everything below if you haven't yet press subscribe it's a nice thing to do if you've got some decent replays by all means send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com and until the next time i will say my usual stuff stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that's what it's all about having fun and being happy